This time on The Anderson's Love and Life. We've had some folks ask us to make some instructional videos of our cooking and we thought we would make a uh, preservation video because we like to do some canning as well. Stacy's running the camera for me. Uh, we've had some folks ask us to make some instructional videos of our cooking and we thought we would make a uh, preservation video because we like to do some canning as well. And it's nice chilly day here in Indiana so we have a nice big pot of some good thick chili. If you can see that right there, boy it looks good doesn't it? Very good. So what we've got here is roughly about seven gallons of chili almost to the top here. And so we've got our chili already cooked and ready, ready to go. We have a pressure canner here and we're getting the water where it's starting to boil right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put about two tablespoons or a tablespoon of white vinegar in there. And that sort of helps if you have hard water to keep your jars where they come out nice and clean when they come out of the camera. While that is doing that, I'm going to set my caps for my canning jars over here in this pot of boiling water. That, that way they can be nice and sterile. Our jars are over here. They've already been scalded. They're ready to come out. We take our jars over here. We'll bring them over here one by one. I'll go ahead and get a few set up. We'll show you fill them three and then we'll come back and show you the pressure canner full. Start out, you can buy a canning funnel just about anywhere. Uh, if you're really wanting to get into canning, you can go to Rural King or some sort of supply store like that and they have a kit that's got a little bit of everything in there. And you'll start out, take your jar, get a good ladle full. Maybe one more. You want to leave that next space, if you can see that there, between the bottom of your... So that way when you're pressure cooking it, it will have some place to grow or breathe, as they say, while you're going on. I'm just going to continue filling up these jars and we'll come back to you here in a second. Okay, now that the jars are filled, you know you're going from, from jar to jar with your funnel and sometimes you get a little overlay here. Before you go to put your lid on, you take a clean rag and go around the rim of your jar and make sure that it's all cleaned off. You don't want to have any of that under there, under your lid or it will keep your lid from sealing and you will have wasted a whole time of trying to pressure can uh, your jar so you have to go through here and clean all these off make sure they're nice and clean and that happens to the best of the canners I've seen my mother have to clean off lids and it's just part of the job so you just go along clean these off like this place your lids take your rings I can hear my pressure cooker over there starting to boil pretty good Put these on, you place your lids and caps pretty tight, and you can see, oh, we've got a little bit of a place here where I'm doubling down the side, isn't it? So you want to wipe that off the side of your jar. You know, try to make them nice and clean before they go in. You don't want to make your pressure cooker water dirty. You want it to be nice and clean as they go into the pressure cooker. Okay, now we have our jars and our pressure cooker. The water is up to the next of the jar. You want it about half full at least. That way it will have enough water to pressure cook for the next hour and a half because it has to cook that long since the chili does have meat in it. So we're going to place our lid on our pressure cooker. I'll lock it down 
it's in place. There's a place that tells you whether it's locked on there or closed. And then this is called a rocker. And this right here, particular rocker, has 5, 10, or 15 pounds. Our chili requires 10 pounds pressure. So this is going to be placed on here like this. And it's going to take probably about 10 or 15 minutes before this thing starts to make noise. And here a little bit, you hear this start to... And from that time on, when you hear this start to rock, you set your timer for an hour and 30 minutes. And you'll know in an hour and 30 minutes that your, it's time to turn off your eye and let the pressure cooker cool down, take the lid off, and then you can slowly take your jars off and then as soon as you start to set them out you will hear them start to cool down and the lids will start snapping down tight and there's nothing like the sound of those jars when they go to snapping okay the pressure cooker has cooked for an hour and a half and we have turned it off taken the lid off let the pressure off we're now going to open it reveal our jars nice and pretty is this typical of the pressure that's within the jars? You buy these within that kit, or you can just buy your jar grabber separately. Grab a hold of your jars and you lift them out. Set them out. And you remember how full the canner was when we started? Look how full, look how much is left in there now. It's almost completely empty. So that's why you have to start out with a canner full of water so you have plenty. But this right here is just your general process of canning uh, chili. And I uh, hope you can try it out and hope you enjoy it. For this video, there's nothing like canning and eating your own food knowing that you have made it. There again, if you like this video, subscribe below. God bless you. Have a good day.